Ranking number one on Google does not require dozens of expensive tools, an expensive agency, or hours a day. Just about 15 to 20 minutes a week when done correctly. You're probably feeling stuck with SEO. There's too many strategies, there's not a clear path. So you don't know if what you are doing will actually get you results. By results, I mean traffic that converts into clients. So in this video, I'm gonna cut through the noise and give you a proven strategy. By the end, you'll know how to write content that ranks in Google AI overview, how to build a simple web application that's going to pull in organic traffic on a consistent basis. Use GPT to run a website health check to make sure that your website is running on all four cylinders and how to get backlinks without even paying a single cent. And I know this works because our community members follow just some of these strategies like Arlen and he's already ranking number one on Google AI overviews, generating a lot of high quality traffic. Let's get to number one, how to write content that the AI search engines actually love and will cite you for it. And this can be broken down into four main things you need to keep in mind next time you're writing content, even if you use AI or you don't. And the first one is back up your claims with data. So always support your points with real evidence and reference sources directly so that the AI knows that your content is trustworthy. Thinks statistics, studies, or any authoritative type of report. Let me show you exactly what I mean. This is the back end of a website. Let's say I'm writing a blog post about the secret to healthy teeth and gums. Maybe you are a dentist or you're helping your dentist rank. The statement that I'm writing here saying, flossing your teeth once a day increases your gums health. Not necessarily wrong, but I'm not backing up that statement with any data or any sources. So how would I fix this? Well, one easy way is to use this prompt, and I will leave this link below, that will help you fact check the claim, give you the data, and even the link for where it got it from. It's very easy. The prompt reads as follows. You're a fact checking assistant with Reacher superpowers. No fluff, just data. Here's what I need. You put in the input, and the output will be exactly what you need to paste into your content. So I need to, insert the claim here. Let's grab the claim from my website, from the back end of the website, flushing your teeth uh, once a day. I'm gonna paste it in there and that is it, right? GPT will go out, search the web, understand the claim that I'm trying to make and come back with exactly what I need to place. So the original claim was flossing your teeth uh, once a day will increase your gum health. The rewritten claim is that flossing your teeth once a day can reduce bleeding gums by 70% and remove as, about, as much as 80% of interdental plaque boosting your gum health. Not only that, but I'm also getting the high quality resources. So if I go back to my blog post, I'm gonna paste that in there and I'm gonna grab where the information was sourced from, which is a high quality source. And then in the actual claim, I'm going to add it as a backlink here so that when somebody's reading that and they click it, they can reference that or they can verify that my content is trustworthy. Number two is write your content at an eighth grade reading level. You see, the AI search engines love content that is more accessible to everybody. And there's a lot of studies being done on this. And it's found that if you write at an eighth grade reading level, the majority of people can understand it. If a 14 year old can read it and get the gist, then you're on the right track. Now, what I mean here is don't dumb down your content and talk to your audience like they're idiots. I mean, remove the fluff and don't use unnecessary complex words. The third thing you wanna keep in mind is inject your own experience. Don't rehash what's already online if possible. Add your own perspective, your results, or your client's stories, the AI models eat this thing up because it's something that they can't quite replicate experience, at least not as of the time of this recording. So this blog post of mine that is about GPT-5's new personalities, if you don't know what they are, they're fantastic, I've done a video on that, and I've written a whole section on it, and it's already doing quite well, this blog post, and one of the reasons that it's doing really well is because I've added my experience. So I've said my experience with Cynic, which is one of the personalities within ChatGPT-5, said the first time, uh, I'll admit, Cynic hooked me fast. The first time it told me flat out that my idea was garbage, I almost laughed, not because I was wrong, I wasn't. So you get the idea, I'm really adding my real world experience and it's something that really can't be replicated with an AI, at least not without prompting it really well. So whenever you can, add your experience. And the fourth thing to keep in mind when you're writing content, it might seem like the most obvious one, but I see people get this wrong all the time. Write content that people are actually looking for or you are sure that they're going to look for. 
One of the easiest way to do this is use a free tool like Answer Socrates. So there are a few more options here, but recently I like this one. In the topic, you place in the keyword that you want to write about. So I'm gonna go GPT for SEO. I'm gonna select the country. I know that my audience mostly lives in the United States and I'm gonna click search. It's doing a fundamental search and finding all the frequently asked questions people are asking about GPT for SEO. So for example, can I use GPT for SEO? Yes. <laughs> Is it worth paying for SEO? Depends. No, you could probably do it yourself. And now all I would do is turn each one of these questions into a very detailed blog post. And that way I can ensure that I'm actually answering questions that people are asking for. And now that we know how to write high quality content that's going to bring you a stream of steady organic traffic, let's move on to section number two, where we'll make sure we convert that traffic by a little web application. This is kind of the new way to do a bit of a lead magnet as well. It's one of my favorites. So we need to come up with a good idea. We need to build this, ChatGPT is gonna do that. And then the final thing is we also need to add a little call to action at the end. So it's not only generating new traffic, but it's converting that traffic. We build a lot of these because they still get us incredible amounts of traffic. Like this one, we build a, a, keyword, a free keyword research tool. This one's a bit more complicated. Yours doesn't have to be, but let me show you how this one works. I go uh, local SEO. I have related keywords selected in the United States. It's connecting to another tool and it's giving me um, related search terms. Pretty cool, easy. It's still one of the pages that gets us the most amount of traffic on a steady basis. I've made this extremely simple for you and I've built a whole prompt you can use the GPT that's going to build this for you. It's going to come up with the idea, it's going to code it for you and it'll tell you how you can inject it into your website. We'll go through that whole thing. I'll leave this link below. All you got to do is paste this into ChatGPT uh, and at the end you just want to give it your website. And it should take a while because it's not going to be that easy to do it. And it's asked me, it's already given me a lot of suggestions and it's asking me which one you want and also which is the CTA. We provide free SEO strategy sessions. So I'm going to make sure that that's one of the CTAs. I want people to book a free SEO strategy session with me. They're 15 minutes long. So I'm going to go back to the GPT, the way we are having that conversation. And I'm, I think I like the traffic value calculator. Um, so I'm going to go, let's do number three. Let's do number three. Uh, and this is the CTA, a 15 minute free SEO strategy session. So while that's building, if you're a plumber, you might have a booking link or a phone number or a form, whatever that call to action is, make sure you give it to this GPT and it'll add it at the end. So how do we inject this and how do we place this into our website? And it doesn't matter if you don't know how to code it at all. It's very, very simple. When you are creating a page on your website, no matter which site builder that you have, there'll be the option to do a HTML embed. It might look slightly different, but on WordPress and Wix and Webflow, there's always a HTML uh, version that you can embed some custom code. The thing you need to keep in mind that it just needs to be plain HTML. You don't want to add some external libraries and resources. Perfect. So our code has been completed and I can test this out if I want, but I'm just going to go place it right away. And I'm going to go save and close. I'm going to publish this and let's see what this looks like. Perfect. So now on my page, I've got a traffic value calculator. So let's say I have 2000 monthly visitors. The conversion rate is 1.5 and the average uh, value of a client is $500. I can calculate potential. And this is the current monthly revenue from SEO traffic. Perfect. And here is that the most important thing is book a 15, uh, is the CTA book a free 15 minute SEO strategy session. If I book that, if I click that, sorry, it'll take me to the call to action, to the CTA. So I'm providing value and I'm telling the user right away, hey, if you want some more, here's the call to action. That is really important. Please don't forget that. Good content and backlinks are fantastic and we'll get to backlink in the next section. But a poor performing website is like you trying to race in the Formula One with a Prius. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> AI videos are so silly, but can be so great. So now what we're going to do is turn ChatGPT into an expert website health 
checker. Now, don't go right away and just give your URL to ChatGPT and say, hey, how's my website performing? Because GPT doesn't natively have all of the sufficient tools it needs to to check things like your website loading time speed, if you have any broken URLs and many more things. Thankfully, again, I've fixed this for you. And I've done a, a custom GPT that has all of those tools. It's called an SEO audit. I'll leave this link below. And all you gotta do is put your URL in. So let's put in a random URL in here. And you'll see that when you put the website URL, it's going to ask talking to the connector. These are all the connections that I've made in the back end of this custom GPT. You'll need to confirm. It isn't asking for your data or anything like that. It's just asking to connect to an external tool, which is the tool necessary for it to go through the website. And now you have an SEO audit template. It's telling you your metadata. It's see, we'll right away see that the meta description is missing. We need that, the recommendations, uh, the headings consistency, the content quality, uh, the lack of internal links. It gives you score recommendations, the images, add alt text to all the images, ensure that they're optimized under 20, uh, 200 kilobytes each. So it's giving you an understanding of how your website is, but also exactly what you need to do to fix it. So you can use that in the video description. You see here what I've done, I've added a little call to action there at the end if you wanna join our free community. And the final thing that we're gonna to touch on is backlinks. Backlinks matter still quite a lot because they are the internet's trust signals. The more external websites are linking to your site, the more it tells Google, well, people are willing to trust this website because they're linking to that. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. It's not about the quantity, but the quality of your backlink that you get. So we're gonna split this up into two very simple types of links. One, links for local businesses, otherwise known as local citations, and two, links for everybody else. <laughs> so if you have a local business, one of the most simple things that you should start doing today is do this quick search. Let's say I am a plumber somewhere in Australia, more specifically in Melbourne. All I gotta do is a search like free online business directories in Australia. If you're in the United States, in the UK, in India, all you gotta change is the last word for free online business directories in, insert your location. And whichever search you do, I can guarantee that there'll be a list like this, the ultimate 53 uh, the ultimate guides for 53 Australian directories or directories in the United States or India or UK, you get the idea. And all you need to do is go onto every one of these websites and make an account for your business. But when you do this, the one thing you need to ensure is to keep NAP consistency. That stands for name, address, and phone number. So when you click on all one of these and you wanna go to them, so let's pick so for example, let's pick one that we found, wordofmouth.com.au. With all these online business directories, there'll be a way to register your business. And where you're, when you are registering your business, you need to make sure you keep the name, the address, and the phone number all the same. So get yourself a Google Sheet and organize all these online directories you make sure you update your website in there. What happens if your business isn't a local business? Well. If you don't wanna spend money on backlinks, which surprise, surprise, everybody buys backlinks. If you do buy it from a reputable source, by the way, I'll leave one link below. You can leverage your expertise to get a backlink. And I do this all the time and it's one of the best ways for me to get high quality backlinks. And to do that, you need an account in a website called featured.com. And create an account. creating an account is completely free. So go in, sign up and fill it out as much as you can. And once you are in, you'll see that Featured joins publicators and subject matter experts. The people who are publishing content are asking questions to subject matter experts to make sure their content is a lot more trustworthy. And if you are a subject matter expert, you can get a backlink if you answer a question. So here I'm filtering through the questions, for example, and I wanna find one that I know for me, it's quite easy to answer. So here's one, you can see the ones that are more tailored to you because it understands the expert that you are in. It says, what's one SEO strategy that yielded unexpected results from your website? Uh, how did this approach differ from conventional wisdom in the industry? So perfect. And this is from GoDaddy. So I know that this is a really high domain. So I'm gonna answer this one. And what you wanna place in here is as much of your value as possible. So I've created my answer, I'm going to submit it. Now, just because I submitted my answer doesn't guarantee me the backlink right away. 
what's going to happen is your answer is going to be in the review tab. The publisher is going to read it and if they like it, they'll use it. And then you see here, I've gotten uh, four backlinks in the, in the last bit. They'll use your answer in the blog post and give you a backlink to your website. If you do these things on a regular basis and they don't take that long, your SEO will start working for you, bring you organic traffic that turns into clients. Now, there's a lot more to SEO. This is the basics. And it can seem overwhelming when you're really getting into it. But I've made a three hour free tutorial that will cover absolutely all the basics that you need to know about how to do SEO correctly for 2025 and 2026. And that video is available for you to watch right here. If you like this video, make sure you tell me in the comments below, what should we do next?